skiers, it's Emily from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Here in front of me, I have the K2 Mindbender 106C. Uh, this is a wider bodied all mountain ski with an ideal balance of heft and pop. Uh, definitely prefers softer snow conditions, but has impressive on-piece performance as well. It has a particularly sturdy build as well and doesn't feel overly demanding. Um, so it has a, a, a really nice, like I said, blend of power and agility. Looking at the construction, we have an Aspen veneer wood core, which is light, energetic, but supple and damp. And then we have K2's carbon spectral braiding which weaves carbon stringers in a cross-hatched manner to fine-tune the longitudinal torsional flex. And the way that they utilized it in this ski is they have a tighter weave in the forebody and a looser one in the tail. Um, again, I can see it here. Not sure if it shows on camera, but um, you can just see the, the tighter pattern in the front versus um, in the back. And what that does is it just gives the front of the ski a little bit more stiffness, a little bit more responsiveness, and that's where you really want it when you're encountering variable snow conditions and um, just really want to be able to drive the ski and, and control it with precision. Uh, this application really allows you to do so, whereas in the tail, um, makes it a little bit more forgiving uh, while still giving you that level of control that you want um, from the finish in your turn. We also have unidirectional flax fibers, which are also incorporated and they really boost the longitudinal flex as well. So K2 really wanted to be able to fine tune and control just how the ski feels and flexes from tip to tail just to really boost the overall performance. Looking at the shape, we have an all-terrain rocker profile. So we have positive camber underfoot and then we have a low gradual rise in the tip and short low rise in the tail. So looking at it standing up, the effective edge pretty much ends here and then it's just a very gradual rise in the tip. Really gives the ski excellent flotation uh, in the soft snow conditions. It just loves to bounce through and just really give it, it really gives it this really drifty, surfy feel, uh, which is awesome. And then in the tail, it's just a shorter, lower rise, um, but you can see that there's definitely still a, a good amount, which is just really transfers over to how they feel um, skiing them. They're just really maneuverable, responsive. Um, you have a strong finish out of your turns, but you're not locked in. And for what these skis like to ski and, and how they like to feel, uh, it's, it's the perfect blend of qualities. Um, this is the 162 centimeter length and it generates a 15 meter turn radius. So very middle of the road. Uh, I would say just given its nature, it definitely likes to make those drifty, surfy, like I said, longer arcing turns down the fall line. Um, but they can also still be really maneuverable given the width, which I found to be very impressive. I skied these skis in, on a pretty fantastic day with a good amount of snow and I was in uh, trees, open areas, uh, glades, bumps, just like a, a wide range of terrain and they just transitioned so smoothly in between all of that. They were maneuverable, light on my, uh, under my feet, energetic when I wanted them to be and then when I wanted to open up my turns a little bit more and just kind of lay into the to my turns and, and just have that really drifty feel, they were awesome at that. I would say that if you're skiing them at a slower uh, speed and you're on firmer snow, you definitely want to have them higher up on edge uh, to really get the, the ideal level of control. But in soft snow, they just, they really shine and they were just so much fun. Um, 106 millimeter waist width, so like I said, really nice width for, for deeper days. This could be an awesome daily driver for someone who lives 
in an area where it gets a good amount of snow on the daily and you want just a ski that can do it all and just feel really intuitive and agile but still with a pretty high level of power and strength despite the fact that it doesn't have metal in them. It really just, the way that they use the carbon, it just gives the, the ski a really nice uh, flex pattern. I would say any intermediate to advanced level skier who wants a low risk, high reward ski uh, that is particularly agile and energetic but still delivers a high level of power, uh, this is an excellent option. So to learn more about the K2 Mindbender 106C, head on over to SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there.